four of us wolves running around the desert together in Las Vegas. Looking for Scotty. Good afternoon, this is your captain speaking with just a little flight information. Coming up on the left, we're going to be catching a glimpse of the Grand Canyon. On the right, you can be able to see the Hooper Dam in just a few minutes. We're flying at an altitude of 37,000 feet, and our airspeed is 400 miles an hour. SkateCon is officially over for 2023 and well I said I wasn't going to pick up a camera for at least a week but I wanted to kind of debrief and just really think about the week that just was because it was just every there was just so much that happened in a positive way and everyone I've spoken to has just been so energetic and positive about this whole experience that I don't know, I just want to make a really quick five, four minute video and just really just highlight on highlight on all the aspects that made it what it was. Obviously, the very first thing is the people. The amount of people that came to this event, supported this event, was just unheard of. The group rides were huge. Let's start with Wednesday. The first night, the bike ride one around Fremont, it was insane. There was so many bikes, personalities, lights, speakers, riders, skaters. It was just, it was so much fun and it sort of was almost like a warm up event for what was coming on Saturday. Moving straight on from Wednesday to Thursday was the Red Rock ride. Now, this one for me was, this was the, the one for me, like if that makes sense. Um, that loop road, that smooth concrete, that tarmac, the people that were there, it really was a combination of people, road, board, and experience or scenery, if that makes sense. Um, it was just, I don't want to sound corny, but it was almost spiritual. It was really amazing to be going and seeing the eagles above and the rocks in the background, the snow on the mountains. It was very cold, but I would not change a thing. Friday, I didn't go to the Friday group ride. This was the wetlands ride. Um, I went to the vendors dinner. I was very graciously invited to go. Uh, I do manage an EUC business back in Australia and it really did help with some connections with some possible business opportunities. So it was really nice to meet some people that I probably would not have had the opportunity to sit down and talk to. Have a talk, shake some hands and really talk about some, some really cool business ideas that will really strengthen some, some business relationships. What I heard and what I saw from Friday night was amazing. That little narrow track with the ups and downs, people were getting like just amazing footage. Also on Friday it was bumping day for Eastgate Con. This is where the vendors had the opportunity to see the site, the fences were up, the, they started building the track. And this is where the first massive shout out comes in to all the crew at Mboards. The whole team was involved, including partners, friends. It was not, this was not a, a one person show. You know, they, these, there was, I don't know, 10, 15 people there building the barriers, filling sandbags, setting them up, laying them out, moving trucks, moving trucks around, getting marquees out, sand, it was, it was like watching a music festival get set up on a slightly smaller scale with one hundredth of the people. What these guys did, what the Mboards team did, was just amazing. From what we saw on Friday afternoon to what it was on Saturday morning, I didn't think it was possible. They did such an amazing job and really made the event what it was. Of course, that moves around to Saturday morning, the first day of Eastgate Con. The way this event started was just buttery smooth. They really learnt from the previous years, let's call them hiccups or oversights. The queue to get in was smooth, the vendors were already set up, um, there was plenty of room, there was easy, easy access vendors to come with trucks and trailers and vans and all that sort of thing. But it was already done, 99 or 98% was done before they opened the gates at nine o'clock for the attendees to arrive. Now I wanna quickly really talk about the schedule of the day. And here's one small opportunity, um, and really it's just a nitpick, it's nothing major, and I understand with live events it's hard to ever get this perfect. One thing I would love to see moving forward would be almost a 
a, a banner. It can be a meter high or a two meter high banner, one of those standard banners with the expected run schedule of the day. So you can be walking around, you can see, oh, okay, opens at nine, open track from nine to 11, racing starts at 11 and whatever, just go throughout the day or have it on the back of the lanyard we got when we walk in. At least we've got a rough idea what to expect and when to expect it. So if people do disappear to shoot out and get some lunch, they don't potentially miss a heat or a, or a race. Now moving on to Saturday night, the big one, the Eastgate group ride down the Las Vegas Strip. This was hectic, insane, full on, scary, but still absolutely amazing. And I'm so glad I finally got to do it. The group was huge. It was mixed with everything from push bikes, EUCs, one wheels, you name it, they were there. It was scooters, drones, RC cars. This really did feel like a once in a lifetime experience. Even though I know it won't be, this is one that I will take away along with the Red Rock ride and just go, yeah. Still think about it, decompress, look back at the footage, see like little things that I didn't even notice while I was filming because you were so in the moment being aware of the hundreds of people all around you. It was just, yeah, it was full on. Moving into Sunday, as far as the run schedule that day, I loved it. I thought it was fantastic. They had the heats, they had the novice, the sportsman, the pro, they had the, it was just really well done. They had the heats and they had the finals. They had the open track time. It really gave all the vendors lots of opportunities to get their products out on the tracks and let customers, potential customers, try them, ride them properly, push them hard. I really liked that they were enforcing the no helmet, no ride policy. I did see a couple of people jump on and the announcers were straight on it. Hey, off the track, no helmet. To really sum it up really quickly and keep this as short as possible, was EskateCon 2023 a success? Yes, hell yes. It was an amazing event, really well run, really well organized, really well planned, um, and really well executed. Sometimes you can plan things and not execute them well. These guys put the hard yards in. If you saw what they were doing behind the scenes, even after we left on Sunday, I believe they were there till after midnight, packing down that area, cleaning it up, making sure the car park was clean, because when they need to get approval for next year, they don't want to have any, any red marks or X's on their license to say, no, you didn't clean up once you left, or you left a mess, or things were broken, or you didn't respect the space. So these guys did everything they could to make EskateCon 2024 go ahead even easier, uh, with less delays and less hitches. So massive, massive props to Mike and the whole team. Mike, Maddie, Jacob, James, and all of them. I, I can't remember what your names right now. I'm sorry, I'm so exhausted. I, I know there's more people and I apologize for not personally saying your name, but every single person involved, including the wives, the partners, the mother-in-laws, they were all there helping, running the concession stands, checking tickets, signing waivers. It's because of all of these people the event was the event that it was. And a massive, massive thank you for doing that because without you guys, it wouldn't happen. So if you're watching this at any time between now and EskateCon 2024 and you're not sure if you wanna go, I say do it. My main message that I was trying to go across on my day one and day two video is if you're not here, why not? If you're into Eskate, if you're into PEV, honestly, this is the premier event to come to globally once a year. And yeah, if you are thinking about it, pull the trigger, get the tickets early, and show up. Four of us wolves running around the desert together in Las Vegas. Looking for Scotty. Who's Scotty?